Hey guys, it's Zach from the ConCon channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Cobblemon mod pack so that you can be playing Pokemon inside Minecraft. Now in order to get your game to look super nice like this with all the Pokemon, the animations, the shaders, you'll need to get the Modern app. Now the Modern app you can download from this website and I'll link that down in the description below. So you'll then see this big green button, you can go ahead and click on it to download it. And then also if you go to more download options, you can actually download this for Mac and Linux as well. Once you've downloaded the app, you'll see that you're going to have your homepage and then in the top right, it's going to ask you to sign in. Now I recommend you do this. And once you click that sign in button, it's going to ask you to log in with your Microsoft account. And then obviously you need to have the Java edition of Minecraft on your computer already. So make sure you have that downloaded. So just to give you a quick rundown of the modern app, the homepage is going to be your discover page just showing you a brief summary of some of the popular and relevant mods people are using at the moment. Then if we click on that or we just go to the second tab, it's going to show us the actual discovery page. This is where you're going to be able to search for all your specific mods. Now in order to get the Pokemon mod pack or the Cobblemon pack, what you need to do is go to the discover, go to mod packs. Now if it isn't here on your main screen, what you want to type in is COB. Don't type in cobble properly because it's going to then show random mods. So just make sure you type in COB because for some reason these ones show up first. And you can either choose between Fabric or Neoforge. Just make sure it's by Cobbled Studios. These are the official ones. We are going to go with the Fabric one. The Neoforge is fine. What you're going to do is actually click on it. Now you can just install it. And what it's going to do is install the latest version of this mod. But if you are running a different version of the game, let's say you're running 1.20.1 and you're using other mods specifically with that version of the game, you can then choose to download this version of the Cobble One mod pack. But obviously we're going to go with the latest one. So we're just going to click there and you'll see now that it's going to download all of the mods for this Cobble One mod pack. Now you'll see that once it's downloaded, it is going to be here on the left of your app. And once you click on it, it's going to show you all the mods that are included within this common one mod pack. And as you can see, there are five pages of mods. Now, if your game does struggle when you launch with all these mods, you can always untick these mods so that they don't run in the game. Now, if you don't know what any of these mods do, you can either just click on the mod and it will take you to the mod page with the description of the mod. Or you can just go to the discovery page, click on the common pack right over here and then you can just scroll down to the mod pack contents and then it's going to tell you what each of the mods that it downloaded does so it can kind of give you a description on what you need and what you might not need now there are just going to be two more mods that we need to update before launching the game which are going to be zyra's world map and zyra's minimap because for some reason they aren't the latest version when you download the cobble mod mod pack what we're going to do is type in zyro so as you can see these are the two mod packs that were outdated all we need to do is click on the first one. We're going to go versions. And as you can see, there is a latest version. For some reason, it did not automatically choose it. But we're just going to click there, install. Then what we're going to do is go back, click Zyra again. And then we're going to go to Zyra's minimap versions. And then we're going to then choose the latest version of his minimap. So now once you have that downloaded, you can then literally just click play. It might take a little bit if you're doing this for the first time because it's obviously trying to now compile your game to launch with all these mods. So just give it a second. Once the game launches, it's going to look like this. You can play single player or you can play multiplayer. You can go to your options and then resource packs here. You're going to need to add the shinies for magic carp jump. So just add that and then you can also add better leaves. These are the mod packs that aren't enabled for some reason when you launch this version of the game. But all you're going to do is click done and then it's going to just add those things right there. Once you're done there, you can also just check out all the mods that are here. And you'll see that some mods can actually be customized. So obviously, dependent on how strong your computer is, you'll see that the ones that can be customized has like this like settings knobs you can obviously customize them once you're done there we're just going to go into single player now you can either choose to play on a custom map which is called cobbled farms or you can create your own world now if you choose to create your own world it'll obviously just be the standard world creation that the game usually does with its options but if you go to the more tab you'll actually see under rules you'll be able to change some of the rules that actually work for the pokemon mod but we're just going to use the cobbled farms pre-made world 
Now, once again, like I said, if you're loading this for the first time, your game might struggle a bit when you start. Now, if you load into your game, your game might not look like this because when you start, sometimes the shader isn't actually applied for some reason. But all you need to do is just go your escape options, video settings, shader packs, and then you need to turn on complementary reimagined, and then you're going to say apply. In this mod, you'll be able to choose your very own starter Pokemon, and there's quite a lot to choose from. You'll then obviously be able to see the information about your Pokemon, its abilities, and stats as well as some other features such as evolutions you also get different pokeballs that you can use and craft each with their own catch rates making them pretty unique in this mod pack you can also attempt to catch pokemon obviously depending on the ball you have you can either capture them or they can break free and obviously the most important part is that you can battle any other pokemon that you see roaming around each with their own unique levels this is what your game is pretty much going to look like. It's going to be such a fun experience if you love Pokemon. But yeah, guys, that is how you install the Commonmon mod pack for Minecraft. It's been Zach from the ConCon channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.